All right, what is going on? It's your boy Young Twan. I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make some beats like Cash Money AP. I'm gonna be showing y'all, giving y'all some quick little tips how to achieve his drum bounce. And I'm gonna be deconstructing the melody that I made for this beat as well. So without further ado, let's get to the video. So first, what I started with was this Contact Grand Marimba. Now I, I deleted the uh, Contact Library uh, since I made this uh, beat. Uh, so I don't have it uh, right here, but I had rendered it out as an audio file. So this is what it sounds like. So yeah, very simple arpeggiated chords. I just used uh, EQ to cut the lows out. Uh, and then I went, I opened up Omnisphere and I picked this Bell Fireflies preset and I uh, pasted, copied and pasted the chords uh, from the marimba and put it in here and this is what it sounds like. So yeah, to that I added an EQ again, just to cut the lows out. Uh, as you can hear, they're very, you know, emotional type of chords. Um, and yeah, so next sound is a bell, uh, I, bell ice. I think this is from the palace, uh, Omnisphere Bank. And to this, I added a Valhalla Vintage Verb uh, with the mix right under 50% and a Fruity Reverb and an EQ to cut the lows out. And I just added these uh, top notes. This is what it sounds like. So yeah, that was just to complement the chords. Uh, and then after I opened up uh, Contact and picked this Mallet Flux library, you know I always use this. If you're familiar with the channel, you know that I use Mallet Flux quite a lot. And I picked this ARP 1604 uh, preset and um, I added some effects to it. I added a half time um, where I cut the uh, mix down to 50% and a Good Hertz Wow Control where I added quite a lot of um, Flutter, like detune, I put the amount at 35% and then EQ just to clean it up a little bit and this is what it sounds like. So yeah, literally just repeated. Um, and then I went into Omnisphere again and I picked this pad, this magic pad, uh, which I also think is from the uh, Palace um, Omnisphere library. And I added an EQ with the to cut some of the lows out. And uh, yeah, these are just the chords, but not arpeggiated. And this is what it sounds like. So yeah, just repeated. This was just to add some space. And as you can see here, it's very spacey, very wide, uh, dreamy type of feel. Then I added this SRX orchestra with this preset, the uh, accordion, and I added a couple of effects to it again. Another Valhalla Vintage Verb with the, the mix right above 50%. A Fruity Reverb where I cut the dry and wet knob uh, pretty down and an EQ to, again, just to cut the lows out. And uh, I played uh, these notes following the chords and this is what they sound like. So yeah, again, just repeated. Then, uh, you know, as I always do, I just rendered everything out as an audio file right here and rendered it again uh, to make it um, the full sample. And then I um, turned down the sample rate of the sample to uh, 22K Hertz. And I added the uh, final effects, which are a J37 uh, stereo from Waves with the MHB flangey strings uh, preset. Another Abbey Road vinyl from Waves with the mastering starting point preset. And finally, just a simple isotope vinyl with the warp depth and the wear knob uh, a little bit up and a, the year on 1970. And uh, altogether, the final sample sounds like this right here.
so yeah, that's pretty much how I rearranged it. And then uh, from then on, I went to add the drums. So uh, for the drums, Cash Money AP uses uh, these uh, the standard clap, uh, Lex Luger clap quite a lot. Um, so it sounds like this. Yeah, we all know this hi-hat. Uh, now also Cash Money AP, he doesn't always use the uh, two-step, uh, fill in uh, each two-step hi-hat. He uh, draws his hi-hats with like various rolls coming in uh, just to complement the bounce. And uh, this is what I came up with as the hi-hat pattern. So as you can see, it's really like the same kind of tempo, the same um, rhythm. You have like this little stutter before the clap every like two bars, as you can see right here, right here, right here, right here. And uh, yeah, it's just very good to, you know, just add some rhythm and you can hear when I add the uh, percussion. So I added some rim shots and some snares um, and also some open hats. You can really tell uh, the bounces here. So this is what it sounds like. Got a cool bounce. Then I added this 808, um, the 808 No Kizzy. Everybody knows about it who watches my videos. Uh, so yeah, this is what it sounds like. Then for the second part of the hook, as I always do, I added a kick uh, right here. really you know it created a really um a really good uh, drum bounce and i feel like if i would have put in the fill in each two steps it kind of would have ruined the bounce uh so yeah just the fact that there's some space right here there's space for this uh, rim shot to hit you see and there's some more space right here you see uh, it just adds you know a lot of bounce and you know the space really plays with the listeners attention and it just makes them you know want to hear more and make them want to be like oh what's gonna happen next you know what elements are gonna come back in next and what's what are the new elements that are gonna be put in so yeah um, as the structure I have a 16 bar hook right here with all the elements and the kicks coming in the second part of the hook then a 16 bar verse where I took out most of the percussion and I slowly start to bring it back in then I have this um, bridge section with the 808s. Now that's something Cash Money AP does quite a lot. He has either synth basses or 808s in the bridge sections. And then um, again, just repeated 16 bar hook, 16 bar verse with this bridge right here. And then again, another hook and then the outro right here. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, we're almost at 700 uh, subscribers. So um, really, uh, you know, subscribe so we can grow together. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.